how to make a HubSpot website easy tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own free website using HubSpot. So let's get into it. Now, HubSpot does not allow you absolute free websites. For HubSpot to enable you to create a website, then you will have to upgrade in their CMS version or in their marketing version to the professional or enterprise version. So if you scroll down over here, you can create a blog using the free version of HubSpot. But if you do want to create your own personal website for that, you will have to upgrade to at least their professional version starting at $800 a month. Or if you take a look at the CMS, then you have options such as 360 a month with uh, other options as well. So to get started, we are just going to go on to our HubSpot account. This I have logged on to my HubSpot account. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on marketing on the top left over here. And then you're going to find your website section. So we're just going to click on website. Then you have three options. You can either choose to create a website page, a blog or SEO. So we're just going to click click on website pages and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on start building over here and now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select a theme for your website so we're just going to click on customize you can select any kind of basic theme that you want so we're just going to take this and then you can choose the primary font the secondary font and then I'm going to click on next on the bottom right over here and now you can see the, this is just one of the basic kind of themes that I have selected. But what you can do is you can go back into the website builder and we can just click over here so we're just going to click on build your site and i'm going to click on build site over here and now you can see you can choose the different pages that you want to enter onto your website so i want a home page i want an about page a contact page a products page and i don't want a pricing page then i'm going to click on next so once i have clicked on next they're going to ask me what kind of layout i want for my basic website so you can also choose the industry that you're working in and they will recommend it layout or you can just pick one of these basic floor layout so maybe i want this kind of layout i can just select this or maybe this so i'm just going to select that and then i'm just going to click on next so they're going to ask me what kind of header i want if i want my logo to be central or placed on the left side so i'm going to go with a central logo then they're going to ask you for how you want your site footer to be if i want all the social medias to be on the top center or bottom left so i'm going to select the bottom left uh, and then i'm going to click on finish over here and just like that step by step we are just going to complete the layout of our website so you can see over here uh, i have the customization of my theme settings that i have already done i have gone into the builder site section then you can click on explore the drag and drop editor where you can actually start to experiment with the actual website layout that you have and start adding your own information so you can drag and drop images and you can just upload your own image so we're just going to click on over here click on replace you can click on replace from over here and then you can browse different images over here so i'm just going to use this and then we're just going to add some text we're going to add header text so we're just going to drag and drop this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on settings and I can just click on all modules on the left as well to add more different options. And then after that, I'm just going to click on preview. So we cannot preview this in the demo, but I'm just going to go and click on exit demo. And then after that, we're just going to click on create your blog. So if you want to create a blog alongside your website as well, then you can do that by clicking on create blog. And then you're just going to enter the blog title that you want. So this is just an added feature with HubSpot. Not only can you create your own website, but you can also set up your own blog very easily as well. So in the marketing section, you can see that if I go onto my website pages, you can see I have these pages now these are the pages that i have currently made and i can also click on clone and then edit a basic page and then later on customize it accordingly and then i can also delete pages from this section as well then i have landing pages so this was a entire website that we just created or set up basically and after that you can also create a simple landing page that is going to enable you for affiliate marketing or promoting products so if you want to do something like that instead of creating an entire website 
Though if you want to do something like affiliate marketing or something along those lines, instead of creating an entire website, you can just go ahead and create a simple landing page. So you can just click on landing pages over here, click on get started, and then you can just choose what kind of landing page you want to create. So for what exact website that you're going to link this to. So whatever product that you might be selling, you can create a landing page promoting it on that website as well. So I'm going to have promo page as the name of my landing page and then i'm just going to click on create page and then i can start adding the content of my page so you can see i have different you know uh templates that i can get started with i can click on blank over here click on select template and then just begin customizing the blank promo page template that i have i can just start by taking a look at the left over here we have your ad section you have content you have theme so i'm going to click on the ad section and you can click on image gallery you can drag and drop it over here and now you can upload your images within the image gallery to display them onto your website then if we scroll down and we go back onto our gallery options so you can see it shows us how many images we want to display so let's say i want to display only two images so i'm just going to enter two in the column section and then this will be changed on to two images instead of four and you can customize accordingly then on your top you also have settings for your your landing page you have optimization of your landing page so you have uh, mobile friendliness titles crawling and indexing so basically you can manage the seo and then you have publishing options as well so you can choose to schedule this or publish it right away and that is how simple and easy it is to create your own website using hubspot although it is not ex exactly a website builder you still can create a good looking website with hubspot especially if you're already using this as a crm and a website is just a secondary thing that you might want to add to your overall business or your platform so if a website is not super important it is just something that you would prefer to just have at this point of your business or whatever business or team that you're running then you can easily use hubspot to create that i think that if you are already using this as a crm then it's a good option but otherwise i wouldn't recommend using hubspot it's not my personal favorite because the customer Customization is not very premium that in the CMS version you have the starter version starting at $23 per month so you have premium hosting SSL certificates website themes drag and drop editors but all of these features are pretty underpowered for the price that they are taking if you go on to an actual website builder like Wix Squarespace or any other website builder they definitely provide you with uh, double the amount of features that HubSpot has so it is not something I recommend but for a free tool to create a simple landing page i do think that it's a good option or if you're already using hubspot as your crm then it is also still a good option so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video